How's it going you guys in today's episode of Hog Squad? I'm gonna be fishing with you, Captain Dylan here with Bill, and we're gonna be fishing for mangrove snapper, hogfish, anything that can bite. We're gonna see what happens out here. It's a beautiful glassed off day out of Tampa Bay. So we're about to get into some awesome fishing, so stay tuned, let's see what happens. Peace. All right, guys, dropping down the first, my first bait of the day, my three out Florida Tackle Supply uh, circle hook, and then one ounce Florida Tackle Supply sliding egg weight to my 30 pound fluorocarbon Florida Tackle Supply leader. And we're going down. Stick I'm using today is my Daiwa Saltist. It's a good stick, guys. I got my Torium 14 on it, really like light conventional reel. That would be pretty fun to catch a hogfish on, so shrimp's going down. And Bill's hooked up and he's off. Oh my God, that was already picked up. Um, I'm on. What ate, what ate it, guys? I'm probably gonna say grunt, he kind of pooped out. Yep. Yep. But guys, once again, grunt are the right signs of a hogfish. So, you know, same family, hang out together. So guys, basically another bait we're using today is fiddler crabs. We got some decent sized ones. And the way I'm hooking them is just right through the side of the body as you would for like a sheep's head and then bam, ready to roll. We should just come out here with margarita shrimp one of these days. I got another grunt. I was actually pulling a little better. So you know they're a grunt as soon as they crap out right at the surface. You know what I mean? Like that you get them up kind of close and they're just like a complete crap out. And that's why they call them grunts, if you can hear that. Put it right up to the mic. Grunty McGrunt. Oh. Oh. Bigger grunt. You weren't wrong, it is a bigger grunt. <laughs> I think I might have got a little hoggy bite. Like a little teeny tap and then, ooh. Oh, that was quick. Get him, get him. Don't be a, don't be a dork. Crank. Oh. All right, guys, we're gonna redeem Bill really quick. Got my um, eight aught circle hook, Florida Tackle Supply, to 80 pound. And we're gonna see if we can redeem Bill. <laughs> if we can't redeem him, then there's something way too big down there. Could have been. Oh. He grabbed it for a second. Stole my pinfish. Well, guys, I'm a little nervous. Oh, how is he pulling off? What? Oh, that's better. It's a better fish. There we go, guys. It's not really crapping out too much. This is a grunt. Grunt hooked, hooked good. You get something on the pinfish? I think this is gonna be a snapper. I think we got. Tar Oh, a little gag. Little, yeah. Oh, oh. I'm gonna eat it, whatever this is. Something's on it. Yeah. Let him eat it. Oh, yeah. Something ate the free line, guys. Something ate the free line. Oh, 
Something ain't the free line. Let's go. It's um, what is that? Dude, a gag grouper swam up and ate it. No kidding. Look at that, guys. We're in 66 feet of water. If you ever doubt a gag will eat something, man. This one swam up from the depths to eat it. Bro, are you serious? Bruh. 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 Never doubt gag grouper, guys. They are just nuts. They are nuts. Let go. On. This might be target species right here. No, it's, it was on a, a Amberjack! Looks like we did mark some AJs. This bill got hit on the way up, so I was like, maybe a mangy. But some AJs. Uh, oh. No, I'm just, I was on the bottom. Oh, that's probably all AJ's right there, dude. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Oh, I got a nice mang. There's a target species. I wouldn't say I'm keeping him by any means, but he's small. Probably just illegal, guys. But look, there's a target fish right there. The one, the only mangrove snapper. Because you guys know that today's target is hogfish and mangroves. Preferably a little bit more mangroves because we just found a mountain of fish out here. Yeah, which is crazy, but that's how it works. Let them go. I believe this is another angel jack. Well, we have the sure belief. I caught it with no bait. <laughs> you jigging the weight up? Yeah. <laughs> you know. One of those things. One of those things you can do. Yeah, little, little AJ. I can't. I, I tried to drop a white bait down, dude. I couldn't even get it down. I'm a, I'm a vertical jig the head up look. Oh sh <laughs> Vertical jigging lead! Oh it'll work. Oh that was hilarious. I got some white bait right here. So right now guys just dropping down a little white bait on the knocker rig. But we do have a big school of AJs. If they are bigger AJs, I'd be stoked. I got this white bait down. There we go, I'm on. This might be a snapper. Lane snapper. There we go, guys, some more snapper in the boat. Got some white bait down on the bottom, and sure enough, a little chunky lane. Dude, I, I just like snuck it past him, bro. Little chunky lane, guys, there we go. AJ alert. That's not a bad one. Not, 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 not by enough, but I don't know. Ooh. Oh. Picked up on the um, little white bait on the bottom. Let's see what this could be, guys. Another lane. There's a couple. All right, I'll wind up. Another lane snapper, guys. He's probably a keeper, yeah? What's their keeper size for lanes? Yeah, I'll keep a little bit bigger of a lane. A little bigger for me. Oh, there he goes anyways. I'm going to see if I can catch a fish right now on the bear hook, guys. It's crazy. Vertical jigging, guys. Ready? No hook. Oh. They're hitting it, but they just won't stick. There we go. <laughs> on the bear hook, guys. Can you believe that? Right under the boat, too, on a bear hook. So if anyone tells you catching small amberjacks is hard, show them the uh, bear hook knocker rig. Look at that. This one's pissed. My white bait in and freaking bam. Oh no, it's not that big. He just freaking was mean. 
YouTube drag, another amber whack. Oh. I'm on, but he ain't fighting like a, I'm a big fish, if you know what I mean. It's a lane. There's a lot of lanes down there, dude. A nice lane, too. Another lane, guys. I mean, we're seeing a good amount of them, but we're kind of after mangs. I mean, lanes taste just as good, if not exactly the same, but. All right, he's gone. Yeet. Ooh, on the crab. On the crab. Lane. Yeah, that's a better lane. I was really hoping that it would be. A mang. A hog. A hog squad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one's fighting good. This one's fighting good. Got some weight to it. The red. Little red grouper. Oh guys, there we go. We just hooked something giant. A live pinfish. Actually, he might be getting you. Oh! Heads up, heads up, heads up. Oh, look at the size of this AJ, dude. That checks out. <laughs> oh, I thought I'm locked down too. That's a good AJ. Man. And Bill's hooked up. Hopefully not a giant amberjack. No, I don't mind him. There we go, guys. Solid AJ. Let's let him go. Oh. oh yeah, we're hooked up on something good guys. Oh, that's another freaking AJ. Oh. Oh, it's a good one. It's a little bit bigger than the last one. Ugh. Oh, quick release. Almost got me hooked. Bill hooked up. Bill hooked up. Might be the right one. Was that shrimp? Oh, nice man on the sardine head, guys. That's the target species. So on that little sardine head, he was down with the cause. Oh yeah. Very much down with the cause. That's an eater. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bill is on him. This one ain't. It's a mang though. Another mangrove snapper, guys. Just like that. Chum, 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 guys. That's one of the keys to catching these uh, mangrove snappers, just keeping a good chum slick going. They try to get them off the bottom and come up, and then you can start catching them on the yellowtail jigs, which in my opinion is the most fun way to catch them. We got pinfish and white bait we're cutting up. So let's see if we can make it happen. 
Oh, sardine head is on. Oh yeah. Oh. He's got me, I'm over. And he pulled. Sardine on. Might have been a rojo. We're on guys. Have the yellowtail jigs drifting and the sardine on the bottom got picked up. A lot of little bites, but waited for that one to commit. Whoa! What are these again? Strawberry grouper? It's a good one too. Well, we're eating him, guys. Look at that beautiful strawberry grouper. It's not a speckled hind, right, those ones? Wow, look at that, guys. What a gorgeous fish. That's insanely beautiful. All right, guys, check out that strawberry grouper right there. Totally beautiful fish. This is a first for me. I know they're smaller grouper. I know we guys are gonna say it's small grouper, but look at that, guys. It's a beautiful fish. Probably tastes good, but you can't beat that when you're out here. Surprise catches like this make the days really happen. It's awesome. Yep. Bill's got him on the jig. Hmm. Oh, nice man. They're getting bigger. All right, guys, we got another nice mangrove snapper in the mix. We're just staying on them, guys. It's been a steady bite. We're trying to make the yellowtail jigs work. We're in a little bit deep of water, but there he goes. Autumn. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I mean, you get me a heavier jig head. Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Yeah. That's not annoying at all. What is that It's a rod. What'd you get, Grunt? Yep. All right, guys, a little update for you. We are moving spots right now. We just leaving the spot of the big amber jacks and the good mangs because it just died out on us. We got a good uh, strawberry grouper, whatever grouper that was. And then, <laughs> and then you know, we got some good snappers. So we started off getting the lanes, we're on the mangs, we're gonna push out a little deeper, maybe mangs and hogfish, you never know. Let's see what happens, I'm a little excited. All right guys, basically we just got to this spot. We're gonna fish around some shrimp, fish over to the jigs. Knocker rigs have been producing a ton of snapper, so we've been doing well on them, but we're gonna switch over to the jigs, see if we get some hogfish, guys, because it has been a tough bite for the hogfish, but we got our snapper for the day. We got that cool strawberry grouper. Now let's see if we get on some hogfish. Little hogfish, bro. Oh. I know. I. Oh. It's pulling a little bit. What? I got broke off. <laughs> like what? Rewind the clip. Rewind the clip. How do you know what happened there? Oh, nice lane. That's a good sign. Yep. I don't think it's the red grouper. It's fighting funny. Nope, that was on um, sardine. It's fighting funny. Pulled a little drag. Oh, look at this lane, dude. Decent one. Yeah, I'll eat him. There we go, guys. Nice little snapper for dinner. That's what we're talking about. That is what we are talking about. Already under attack on the bottom. Got him. Yeah, like 
pretty much a whole sardine. It's another Laney. Lots of these guys today. Yeah, you're touching the bottom. Feel good? Yeah? yeah? A little bit. This rod makes everything feel pretty small. Let's see if Bill got our red grouper. Oh, you got me. Yeah, you got a red I grouper. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Pushed off a little bit. Guys, it cut out mid-fight, but we got a nice freaking chunk lane snapper that's coming home for dinner. I'm gonna measure him, but he's nice. For sure, for sure, nice. Let's see. Every bit of 16 inches, dude. 16 inch lane snapper. Oh? Oh? Groves. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go, guys. Nice mang in the boat. All right, guys. Check out that mega mangrove snapper. Getting it done. We're on a lot of snapper day. Lanes, mangroves, but hopefully we can find that hogfish or even a keeper red grouper. Phew. Uh oh. I said it might. It might just be another big grunt. Give me a porgy. Yeah, porgy. Little porgy. Big porgy. There we go. That ain't no hog fish. It's a little teeny freak out fish is what he is. Hey, he's pulling. What do we got here on the jig? I got myself a porgy. There's gotta be a hogfish with these porgies. Here we go guys on the jig, fishing around, getting some porgies now. We're working it, we're working it. We're hopeful, we're hopeful of a hogfish. Uh oh. Oh come on now. Hey now. Hopefully Bill lands this one. Uh oh. Guys, this just got for real. No, for you to switch up a little heavier. Wait, what the? Got him. Gotcha, sucker. Yep. There's a teeny bite with big tail kicks. Big porgy, dude. Look at that thing. Stud porgy. All right, guys. Hell yeah! <laughs> there he is! Oh man, you weren't kidding what you said about time. Oh, oh, oh right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. <laughs> you think he's keeper? Yeah? Um, he's gonna be close. Yeah. Guys, you don't understand. We've been grinding. We got our snapper out of the way. We got that target species out. And now we got our hog fish. And we're gonna see 14, if he... Right? Yeah, 14 to the fort. It's, it's short by like a millimeter. Man, he's gonna have to go back. Yeah. Yeah, oh, 13 and like a quarter. Look at that, guys. Go get my other camera. All right, guys, there's our first hogfish of the day. Getting it done out here. Mangrove snapper hogfish, we're having a good time, so we're gonna let him go. There he goes. Adios. There we go. At least we got one, guys. I mean, we've been grinding all day. No joke. Eight, eight so, dozen shrimp in before yeah. we get the one. Yep. <laughs> but that's what it is, guys. You got to grind through all the other stuff to get to him. So, hard work pays off. Yo, guys. I'm on. 
Oh, this one's digging a little bit. You guys saw that. Oh, he is digging, digging. Oh. Hogfish. Yeah? Yep, they're on, dude. Another one, guys. I don't think he's going to keep, but I'll measure him for you guys anyways. That's how it usually works, right? Actually, it's 245. But look at that, guys. What a hogfish right there. Let's give him a measure. I'm going to call him at about 13 to the fork. Maybe that's exactly what he is, 13 inches to the fork. But still, guys, I mean, when we're catching hogfish, I'm stoked. I like catching hogfish. And we found a little stack of them here, so... They're biting. See if we get bigger. On the crab? No. Scrambies. Porgmeister. Another day, another porgy. Got him. Subtle bite that, fool. Yeah, let's hope. Not feeling very hoggy. It's looking hoggy. Yep, it's hog. It's a hog. It's a hog. It ain't a big one. But it's another hog. Very subtle bite, and I just swung on it, dude. Oh, that's looking hoggy. Yep. Yep. Bill might just happen. I'm measuring for you guys, as I always do. 13 inches. So we can just break out the 13 inch range with these guys. And the number one important thing I've been learning, guys, with these smaller hogfish especially, is as soon as you feel a tap, just swing on it. Don't even think about it, just swing, because he's probably gonna eat it, he's probably there, and he's probably <laughs> got your bait. So that's what we've been doing, and we've been getting on more hogfish, getting some a lot of porgies in the mix, but we're just hoping to get one keeper at this point. We've got our keeper snapper for the day, we got all that stuff over with, so let's just hope for one keeper. I got him. Oh! I was feeling a little bit more hoggy. Now he's not. The little, uh! <laughs> yeah, that's a porgy. It's a porgy, guys. It's a good one, though. So, guys, one thing I wanted to go over really quick is that I'm officially a captain now. So, you guys can book with me. As of right now, I'm getting like all the website and everything set up. But as of right now, just reach out to me on Instagram. We'll work out a trip and head out there together. It's gonna be awesome, guys. I'm mainly gonna be running inshore trips, so hit me up and we'll get on the water. All right, guys, we're moving spots. We're gonna see, go more shallow. Sun's starting to get a little lower. We're gonna see if we can get on some more hogfish shallower, maybe a little sunset bite. See what happens, guys. It's been a fun day so far, so I cannot complain. You. Took seven times, eh? Yeah. What's he feeling like? Snapper? I put some money on it with how today's been. Ooh. No. That was a mega grunt. Ah, oh, grunty McGrunt, grunt, grunt. Hogfish, hey now! At the shallow spot. I was a fool and I dropped down a sardine. <laughs> what I get on the sardine? Oh, this red grouper. I'm gonna say, this red grouper is not a keeper. Seventeen inches. Let him go. You. Alrighty guys, the day has winded down. We got our snapper, we got our short hogfish. We didn't get any keepers, sadly. But you know, nothing beats a day out here. I got a crazy strawberry grouper, got some cool catches, but nothing beats a day in the Gulf of Mexico, guys, especially when it's flat calm like this. Look at that. Beautiful day. Had to stay out here all day because we weren't just gonna stay out here for a little bit when the weather's like this. So if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week on the water with a brand new video. Peace.